the clock and we're following that breaking news in East Kansas City. Three people dead, including the shooter. The police say they shot and killed a gunman after they arrived at this scene, but shortly after that they saw the house on fire as well. All of this happening in 48th and Sycamore in Kansas City, just a short way south of the sports complex. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial is there. So Stephen, you've seen family members, you said, showing up as this all unfolds. You've also spoken to people who live in that area. What have they heard? Well, a neighbor told us they heard gunshots and hearing a car speed away. All of this while a very quick active shooter situation was going on early this morning, just around 2.30. Take a look at video from the scene that we shot when the scene was very active. According to police, they say three people are dead. They say the suspect came out of a home after police took place outside of the home when they noticed a woman's body in the front of the home. The suspect came outside, started firing shots at police. According to investigators, officers shot back killed the suspect and then they saw smoke. A fire started. Firefighters quickly arrived on the scene, went in the home, put out the fire and discovered another body inside the home. Two female victims who uh, they believe this suspect um, shot and killed. And so uh, we investigation is continuing. Take a listen at what the public information officer said about them preparing for this situation with the fire department. It's a worst case scenario at that point. I mean, it being an active shooter, that's uh in the news quite a bit lately, but we uh, train for it constantly. Uh, we have mutual aid agreements and we work with the fire for the fire department and other agencies for any type of scenario. Um, so um, the situation was brought to a close pretty quickly. Some family members and friends of the victims are still here on the scene. At one point during this active scene, the chief did arrive uh, to get briefed from his investigators. He has since left the scene. This is still an active scene, but much smaller than was about an hour ago. Reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News today. Stephen, thank you. Also